Welcome to this episode of Champion Secrets. Your question that I'm going to cover today is, my smashes go too far towards the back of the court. How can I make them land closer to the net? So to answer this question, I'm going to break it up into three parts. Because in order to get your smash landing closer to the net, that's all about the angle with which it's going to fly over the net. It's pure physics. If the smash is flying flat over the net, it's going to go back towards the back of the court. If we can get the smash coming at a steeper angle over the net, that's going to allow us to have the shuttle land closer to the front of the court. So in order to do that, there are three ways to improve this. The first thing we need to solve is the contact point because that is how we're going to get the smash to come down at a steep angle. A common problem is that people connect with the shuttle with the racket face too flat, open, vertical. In order to get the angle, you need to connect with the shuttle at a more angled or horizontal, closer to the ground level with your racket face. So in order to do that, we need to get our racket ready before we hit the smash. A common problem that occurs with the flat smash is not from the high lift preparation, but rather more from the flat lift, because those are the ones that give us less time to get a racket ready. So in order to hit over top at a steeper angle, we need to get our racket up and ready to hit very quickly. A lot of people move their feet to the back of the court to prepare for the smash without getting the racket up equally as fast. So what I need you to remember is as soon as you see the shuttle is up in the air and you want to hit a smash on it, that the racket is the first thing that's going to move. The racket head needs to prepare and go up into the air as your feet are moving back as well. So that when you get there and you're ready to start your swing, your racket is accessible and ready for you. So often, people move their feet and get back there very quickly, but when they do get there, the racket isn't elevated and ready to connect. So they waste that valuable time getting their racket up and we're talking split seconds, but it makes all the difference. By the time they get the racket up, the shuttle has dropped and now they're hitting with that flat racket angle this way, as opposed to over top, that's gonna give the angle. So the last thing to remember, as well as the contact angle and getting the racket up quickly to allow for that angle is a certain wrist technique that you can try that will help you bring your smashes steeper. Now we talk about this in the smash course when it comes to the stick smash because this technique is what enables us to get a very sharp, steep and fast smash down onto our opponent's side. The technique is about letting the wrist and the forearm control the shot as opposed to the shoulder and the entire arm. So the stick smash is just why it's named that, because it comes down like a sharp stick, very fast and steep. So we connect over top of the shot and we use our pronation from the forearm and the wrist to hit on top of the bird and snap a weight back up into the air to get, it's almost like a bow and arrow, quickly going like a bullet down to the other side of the court. So the technique of the stick smash is what allows us to get a sharper smash down onto our opponent. What we gain in speed and angle, we do give up in power because the heavy or full power smash is that smash that's going to come a little bit further back into the court. 
Now I want you to know that it's important in your game when you're building up your offense, you don't want to use exclusively one smash or the other. It needs to be a combination. And when you see this amongst the pro players, if you look at the players from China, Lin Dan, Bao Chen Lai, Chen Jin, all the girls as well, the smashes are very steep. They use a lot of jumping to get the angle over top of the shot. Whereas if you look at a lot of the Indonesian players, like Taufik Hidayat, for example, his smash is very heavy, but it's landing further back, sometimes even past the back line. And both of these are effective when used in the right situation. But what's most important to know is you have to be able to have both options in your offensive arsenal. So you need to be able to play both like the Chinese steep style and also the more Indonesian, very powerful and loose style that comes heavy back into the court. So to summarize, in order to get your smashes going more steeply, you need three components. One, to get more on top of the smash with your racket face pointing more down to the floor when you connect. Two, make sure that you're getting your racket up fast enough in order to allow you to get into that position where you can hit over top. I often tell my students, you don't want to come up beside it, you want to come right square down on its head and that way you'll cover over top and get the angle down. The third component is to really get that final steepness Try using the stick smash technique, which is a pronation and really focused on the wrist and forearm that gives you that fast whip action that's gonna pull away from the shot and make it go down fast like a bullet. So try this out and we'll see you in the next Champion Secrets video.